So you've got Thank you. Fantasy and Hailfire. Well, currently we have a uh, level 9 CPU and Hailfire, but... It's like we have a matchup between Incineroar and Flood. Yep. What do you think about this matchup? Mm -hmm. uh, I think Ensign is going to have a hard time no matter what, since he's really got to get in close, and corin has got some long-range normals. Yeah, but I, have, I don't know, have you seen any SkyJ sets or anything like that? Uh, no. It's SkyJ is a Incineroar player, he's been doing fire in a bunch of Smash Bros. tournaments. Yep. I think, uh, yeah, let's switch it over here to the gameplay. Transition. There's a lot of good... He's really just shown that Incineroar is a good character. Yeah. Really. Like, in Smash Ultimate, there are no bad characters. I mean, agreed, but... I mean, I'm a DDD and plant player, so... Yeah. You gotta hold on to hope for them, but still. I think uh, a lot with Incineroar is like making some... He's a good hard hitter, grappler, yep. and he's made some good reads for me. Very much a Zangief type character for fighting game players. I agree with you now. <laughs> Gets the chain sword into a hit. What software is that matter? Some 40k stuff here. Oh my god. Thank you. There we go. Yep. Updated already. Yeah. I'm probably gonna go in a bit though. Yep, okay. Alright. Catches him with the pin, doesn't quite kill. I feel like... Oh, okay. Smart move. Yeah, I think uh, one of the fun things about the fun is that side B's, you got three options with that side yeah. B. Yeah. So you have the one that hits up, the one that strong hit, and then you have that hit too. Yeah, sometimes the whiff also pays off. He gets some tap goes, and he gets the revenge right there. Yep, revenge is definitely a very important factor to Incense Kit. Yeah. It just powers up all of his attacks and makes it all like really good. unfortunate for Fantasy SDing there, but honestly, what Fantasy is on here, I know a lot of Corn's kit revolves around the pin. Yeah. So like, if you you pin with the edge guard, you, you edge guard with a pin, you yep. play neutral with the pin, you like. Play disadvantage of him, like a yeah. lot. It's all about like playing in yeah. yeah. But with Insin, he's just gonna want to get in close and beach to the Oh! Just not quite like that, but very, very close. <laughs> Misses with the alone whip there. That back air always does a great job to go off stage. Gets the kill. But this is very much still a one hit situation for Ensign. Pretty much anything he does is going to get the kill here. Still doing a great job taking any hit he has and putting him into disadvantage since the. Fantasy right here. Yeah, Corrin's long range normals are definitely coming into handy here. So he's doing a great job converting literally any hit into some sort of advantage. Up tilt. Very close. Very, very close. Oh, dash attack. That's gonna be it. Dash attack points. <laughs> Actually, I gotta switch him over to the Dark Ensign skin. Yep. There's gonna be a lot of good matches here today, so just stay tuned. Uh -huh. I can link my Twitter on here. I don't even use Twitter anymore. It's <laughs> crazy. And I can link my Twitter. I do use Twitch. I don't have anything, so I wouldn't link anything if I could. Follow my Twitch guys. I'm, just, I'm uh, whatever. All right, let's switch back to. All right, the, switch uh, back. Second round. There we go. Right here. Let's see if Fantasy's able to bring the match back. He was really close to bringing it back after that two stock deficit. Yeah. The first match. Let's right? so have to see if he can bring. Lariat. Very good move. Fully invincible for the first few frames. Tries to go for the can grab, doesn't quite hit. There's the pin right there. Yep. 
has a very good punish to her that are just Yeah, instant back throw, also very good move. He almost hit the last blast. Yeah. Hits probably the top of his ear, maybe, with that hit. Very even with that. Forward tilt. You know the trick on the uh, on surviving blast zones? Uh, DI? Uh, yeah, but after that, like, if you're almost, if you're almost like, gonna hit the blast zones, usually what you do is you jump. Yeah. Because the jump cancels your momentum and yeah. the other direction. You actually don't want to air dodge. You. Yeah. Because when you air dodge, you go something back. Yeah. <laughs> So I've actually been doing something right for all these years without even knowing it. <laughs> Honestly, kind of funny. But sometimes you don't want to use your version. Uh, yeah. Sometimes. You want to save it for mix so no. Yeah, I know. Alright. Take that both two stops. Right yeah. Insin is ahead by a bit, though. Hail About 100%. Hail fire. Hail fire holding up his advantage right now. Pin. Back air. That's going to kill. Last stock situation for fantasy. Ooh, gets a revenge. Just be careful. Ooh. Ooh. Be careful. Not quite, but does tack on a lot of damage there. Still getting these good conversions though. Fantasy. Yeah. Definitely trying to push as much as he can at whatever he gets. Yeah, those quick hits definitely paying off, but what he needs here is to kill. I don't know if he can find it right now. Yeah. <laughs> nice jump mix up. Be very safe. Ooh. Tries to go for the up B. He Chainsword. Catching the chain sword. And Unfortunate SD there for Hailfire. This is looking like the last match. Let's see if uh, Fantasy is able to change the outcome, unlike last time. <laughs> so very safe. Gets a good version there. I don't know. I just love the last version that Fantasy gets. Up smash. That's going to take it. 2-0 for Hailfire.